this is going to be a short video of the mule stables for the coal mining town of Raleigh. I actually said in the earlier video they were gone because apparently the barn up there that was there in 2008 that's, that's, that's not there now was not in the mule stables. No smoking. Raleigh Coal and Coke Company. I guess the crazy people left. Huh, they got the new meter, newer new wheel box, but it's not new. At least I can get all the pits I want because back in the old days when they had mules for the coal company, for the wild coal and coke, makes those crazy people off the tracks there. It's a house there, it looks like it's about way to fall down the hillside. I think most of this stuff up through here is abandoned and some guy bought all of it. Apparently those people freaked out over me being on the tracks there. I would go up there and film, film the train, but I don't feel like dealing with that today. But at least now I know the mule stables are still here. It's going to be one of my sort of videos, because a lot of these old mining towns and mines, when they, went, when they quit using mules and went to mechanized equipment like these leather motors or diesel power motors equipment, most coal mining towns, the mule stables were demolished and tore down. Here they survived, surprisingly. This might be one of the only mule, mule stable buildings alone because the one in Mount Hope, there was a building in Mount Hope that is too. It's just, there's maybe one of the only ones left in the state that I know of. <sighs> well, besides having people freak out with me. Oh well. <laughs>